Hey everybody, today is Monday, November 20th, 2023, and I'm here in Royers Ford, Pennsylvania with Sean. And the reason why we are in Royers Ford, Pennsylvania today is to do something that we have never done before. This is going to be a first for us, and as somebody who loves fast food as much as Sean and I, we're, we're pretty excited about this. Today, we're gonna try for the first time ever for, for us, Freddy's Frozen Custard and steak for and st that, that, <laughs> that curb was a little bit different than i expected it to be anyway we're going to try freddy's frozen custard and steak burgers for the first time ever today i have driven past freddy's before not this one but different ones this, this one's brand new just opened up i've driven past these stores before in fact i've even used the restroom inside of freddy's before but i've never actually had their food so i am pretty excited about this. I love a good hamburger. You're not the biggest fan of hamburgers, no. but they do have chicken fingers. So you're probably gonna get the um, the chicken fingers. They got milkshakes too, which Sean's excited about. So we're pretty pumped to uh, to check this place out. I do believe they've been around since 2002. It's a um, somewhat newer fast food franchise that again has been around since 2002, but they've been expanding quite a bit. I think it's one of the largest growing fast food franchises in the nation. So. Again, we're pumped, we're excited. We're gonna try some uh, some Freddy's. I'm gonna get a burger, probably fries and a soda, and Sean's gonna get his chicken fingers. And milkshake. And milkshake, all right. Let's go see what this, uh, this place is all about. All right, so yeah, let's check this place out. Let's see what Freddy's is all about. And oh my gosh, I'm digging the decor inside here. The uh, the red and the sort of beige and the, and the white and the metal and the floor and the sort of old school looking chairs here with the like Formica countertops. I'm digging the kind of like modernized old school vibe they got going on in here. It's sort of like a faux modernized like 1950s sort of sort of vibe. Like a drive-in. I, I dig that. But now we have to decide what food we're gonna get. Alright so uh, we're staring at the menu now deciding what exactly to get. And they do have a lot to choose from. They have um, milkshakes, they've got ice cream, they've got sundaes. And then for actual food, they have hamburgers, of course, patty melts. They've got a um, all beef hot dog, a crispy chicken sandwich, and chicken tenders. They've also got onion rings, cheese fries, cheese curds, that's interesting, and chili cheese fries. And then I do believe just regular French fries as well. So not a, okay, not a huge variety of stuff, kind of standard menu, but there is still plenty to choose from. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go with the like what I said before, a hamburger, fries, and a drink. You're still gonna go with the um, the chicken fingers? You want chicken fingers? What, what flavor milkshake though? Ooh, vanilla milkshake? All right, vanilla milkshake and a water? All right, I think we've, we've figured out what exactly it is we're, we're gonna order. Okay, so a little bit of a learning curve. They actually don't have bottled water here at Freddy's, but they do give you a free cup for, for water. So that's nice, free water at Freddy's. I, I do enjoy that, and unfortunately, the vanilla milkshake machine was um, down or not working or something was wrong with it and they did not have vanilla milkshakes today, but they did have chocolate milkshakes and you, you do enjoy chocolate milkshakes, you just prefer vanilla, right? Still though, we're gonna still try the milkshake, we're gonna see how it is. It actually looks pretty good. Something to note for those of you who might be like me and appreciate Coke products, they actually don't have Coke here at Freddy's. They have Pepsi products, which for me is okay. I don't dislike Pepsi, but I know there are some people who are either diehard Coke fans or diehard Pepsi fans. Me, I again, I can swing either way, though I do prefer Coca-Cola products. So if you're a diehard Team Coke fan, you might be disappointed to know they only have Pepsi here, but it's okay. I'm, I'm all right with it. All right, our order is ready. We did get the, um, get the chicken fingers and the, uh, the hamburger with, with fries. They actually got my order wrong for some reason, and then we're really confused when I try to explain to them what my order was. So I, I have no idea, but um, it is correct now. So all right, Sean's got to get it. His chicken fingers, which actually look pretty good. I'm kind of impressed by their chicken fingers. I, I'm gonna have to try some of those myself. And um, got my my burger here with my shoestring fries, which is interesting. So all right, it it looks good. The the patty looks pretty. Actually, it's two patties. They look pretty 
good. They are steak burgers. And yes, I did get my burger plain because again, we are here to try the hamburger, not the not the toppings. Toppings can be for a different, a different video. We're here to try to see what the actual burger tastes like. I'm also questioning if they gave Sean the correct um, ice cream because that's not a milkshake. That's like custard. It says it says shake on the on the screen, but that that is not that is not a that is not ooh, that is not a milkshake. That is that is definitely custard. Yeah, that is. So I think Sean got more of a chocolate custard than he did a than he did an actual milkshake. You like you like it? It's good. All right. Well, Sean Sean likes the custard, but um, yeah, that's that's not a milkshake. All right, so Sean tried his, his milkshake, his custard, and he enjoyed it. But now what does he think of his um, chicken fingers? Are they good? <laughs> All right, Sean likes them. Can I have a bite too? Yeah, uh, I want to try it. Like they smell really good. They are really good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. See, they're really good. That's a good chicken finger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was not expecting that. I was expecting your typical fast food kind of cheap, frozen chicken finger taste. But no, there's like, there's some kind of seasoning on them. I don't know if that's just pepper or what that is, but it, it adds to the taste of it. Those are, yeah, you know what? <laughs> Next time I come here, I'm getting chicken fingers. Those are, those are delicious. I mean, I might still get a burger too, but I mean, the chicken fingers were pretty amazing. So, all right, custard is a thumbs up, right? The, the chicken fingers are a thumbs up. Double thumbs. <laughs> a double. One for me, one for me. Ready? Double thumbs up. <laughs> All right, so. Wait, wait, wait. Ding, ding. All right, so let's see how the uh, the burger is, though. Okay, so this is a um, a steak burger. And the more I'm looking at it, the patties are actually really, really weirdly flat. You see that? That's kind of kind of bizarre. They they give you they give you two patties, but it's kind of the equivalent of just one patty. But all right, let's let's see what the um, the quality of the meat is. Um, gotta be honest, there's not much taste to the meat. It's kind of a bland, it's a bland patty. The bun, the bun's nothing all that amazing either. Yes, I know. With, it's, just, it's just like having, it's just like having meat on a piece of bread. Yeah, but it's, I mean, meat on a piece of bread's fine. If it's meat, that's good, and bread, that's good. Uh -huh. This is mediocre meat, mediocre bread. I, I'm not, I, I don't dislike it. It, it doesn't taste bad. It, it's not bad, it's just kind of bland. I was hoping for something a little bit more, and yes, I know, had I gotten toppings, it would have been, I'm drooling, it would have been different, but um, again, we're here to try the actual taste of the burger, not the taste of the toppings. And yeah, as far as the burger's concerned, it's okay. It's all right. It's um, it's mediocre, but but it's okay. All right, now on to the um, the shoestring French fries. Why they went with shoestring, I don't know. Instead of a standard a standard fry, so are you ready? Yeah. All right, you you go first. How, how's your French fry? A French fry. <laughs> it's it a, tastes like it a tastes French like French a French fry. fry. Nothing special. Yeah, right yeah, it's it's okay. It's a, it's a shoestring french fry. I will say this, I do appreciate the fact that it's not like like, like soggy and floppy. Yeah. A lot of times when I get shoestring fries from other places, they're um, they're not crispy. These are crispy at least, crispy shoestring french fries. But I mean, there's no seasoning. Well, I, guess, I don't know. Looks like maybe there's seasoning, but you can't taste it. Whatever's on these, you can't taste it. So, um, yeah. Like Sean said, it's a fry. You know, ooh, actually, I got a little bit of kick of whatever that is. So there is there is a slight bit of seasoning on these, and every now and then you can taste it. Like that one had a, I could I could see that one. I could see the orange on that. I actually dig whatever the topping is. The the seasoning is on these. The problem is they did not put enough seasoning on these. So it's just like if you they do taste kind of bland. Steak, yeah. And then and then you have a pepper and you go, one, two. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm done. They didn't put very much on these, so. They're, they're okay, but I think if they put more if they put more seasoning on them so you could taste the, you could actually taste the seasoning, it would have been a lot better. 
So I'm just checking over my um, receipt right now, noticing that, um, yeah, they did indeed charge me for a cheeseburger. That's what they, they rang me up for, not a, not a hamburger. But anyway, so cheeseburger, fries, and medium dining was only $10, which honestly isn't bad. A lot of places nowadays charge more than that. Then my uh, my son's tenders were were $6. That's only for three tender so six dollars for for three tenders i don't know it's that's two bucks that's two weird. two bucks a tender so all, all right should be like maybe like four. yeah four, four or five bucks yeah probably and then it does say mini chocolate shake which again i don't think that's a shake i'm pretty sure that was just a standard custard and that was um four dollars and 19 cents but then i'm also noticing one small dine-in 229 so your water was not free they actually charged you they charge you for for a water here. I would understand they had water bottles, but if you're getting water just out of the fountain, yeah, they apparently charge you, um, they charge you for that. So just something to keep in mind about uh, Freddy's is that if, you, if you're just looking for a water, A, again, they don't have bottles, and B, they're gonna charge you to take uh, water out of their, 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 their free water out of their their fountain. I um, I don't know, most, most places I go to, if you want a water, they'll just give you a free water. McDonald's gives you free water, Burger King gives you free water. Yeah, like pretty, yeah. pretty, pretty much every... If you go to the end, it's like, so if, so, uh, if you go to one of the windows and you're like, oh, it's a well of water, you're like, oh, okay, here you go, here's water. Yes, most places give you free water. So apparently Freddy's, they don't. All right, so Sean enjoyed his, um, his milkshake, AKA custard. I don't know, comments down below what they actually gave. Okay. What they gave Sean. I don't think I don't think that was yeah, I don't think that was a milkshake. I'm pretty sure that was a um, just standard custard which which is fine. He liked it, but again, not a milkshake that we we paid for. The uh, the chicken tenders you you ate you ate two of them. I, I started munching on the uh, the third one. You didn't want to finish it. No. And I'm not e I'm not even finishing my my burger. I mean again it wasn't bad, it's just it's just kinda it's just very mediocre. There's there's a lot better hamburgers out there in the fast food world. Even plain, there's a lot better fast food hamburgers out there, in my opinion. I'm kind of, I'm kind of over it. I eat like three quarters of it, and I'm just kind of like, eh. And my fries, because they're shoestring, well, they got very cold very fast. Like they, 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 they got very cold because there's, there's not much to them. It's like the fries that are seasoned that are not thick, so like it's just like they're not seasoned enough and they're not thick, so they get really cold. What Sean said. So yeah, my, my meal that I paid like. Ten, 10 bucks for her? I'm not finishing. <laughs> Sean, but Sean liked his. So we're just about to leave, and as we're walking out, we notice up front here, they have the um, Freddy's Famous Fry Sauce. That is interesting. I'll have to try some of that. And they also have the Freddy's Famous Jalapeno, Jalapeno Fry Sauce, so their hot version of the, um, the fry sauce. That could be delicious, but then I noticed this as well. The Freddy's Famous Steak Burger and Fry Seasoning. This was the stuff that was kind of on our french fries, but not really on our french fries. So I guess if we wanted fries that were really seasoned, this is the stuff that we would have needed to, to pick up. So I guess that's their, is that their gimmick? They give you a little bit of seasoning. If you want more, you gotta buy it yourself. I'm not, I'm not sure, but that's cool. Then the neat thing is though, they actually gave us free samples of the, uh, the fry sauce, the jalapeno fry sauce and the steak burger and fry seasoning. So we got, we got free samples, but we already ate all their food. I guess we'll have to come back again. And, and that's how they get you. We're also noticing as we're leaving, they have a cooler here full of all kinds of different custards. So pints of frozen custard, which I'm pretty sure is what you got. I'm, I'm fairly certain they did not give you a milkshake, but you enjoyed the custard, right? So you would probably want to get a, a pint of chocolate yeah. custard. And they have these Oreo cookie Custard cookie sandwiches, which look really, really good. That's something I actually wouldn't mind trying. The uh, the Oreo cookie custard sandwiches. Those look pretty, pretty good. So you can get you can get your custard to uh, to go. But all right, are we ready to go? All right, let's go. All right, guys. So that's gonna do it for Freddy's frozen custard and steak burgers here in Royersford, Pennsylvania. All in all, um, it was it was all right. Uh, you're giving it a like a ha like a half thumbs up. Yeah, I mean it was it was okay. They they got our order wrong. I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly certain you got a custard and not a milkshake like you ordered. Unless unless we're wrong, I don't know. Comments down below. But that was definitely not a milkshake. That was absolutely 100% just frozen custard. They messed up my burger. 
So that wasn't good. Maybe I'll chalk it up to the fact that they're new. They just opened up. The employees are new. They're getting, getting used to things, maybe possibly. But um, as far as the food was concerned, you like the, the custard. I, I enjoy custard as well. I didn't try your custard, but I would probably like it. The, the uh, chicken fingers were actually pretty good. Yeah, they, those were surprisingly delicious. I will say their chicken fingers, pretty good here. But the fries were mediocre. They um, did not have enough seasoning on them. Had they had more seasoning, they probably would have been way better. Also, had they not been shoestring, they would have been way better. And as far as their burger is concerned, it was just, it was, it was, it was, I don't know. It was, it was um, mediocre. It was um, bland. It just, the, the bun wasn't anything special. The burger wasn't anything special. It was just, it was very mediocre. I don't see myself really ever coming back here for a burger. I might come back for custard and I might come back for chicken fingers. I could see myself coming back for those. Yeah. But as far as the fries and burgers, if, I, if I'm just in the mood for fries and a burger, I'm probably gonna go to Burger King or there's McDonald's. A, or McDonald's. There's a Wendy's right down the road. I'm probably gonna go there instead yeah. of, um, of Freddy's. I just, I found it to be kind of mediocre. Again, I didn't, I did not even finish my burger because I was just, yeah. I wasn't really enjoying it all that much. So yeah, I would say as far as um, Freddy's is concerned, out of, let's see, out of, out of five star, what would you give it? I would give it um, two and a half. That's I would I would say around two two and a half for me as well. It was yeah. just um, it was all right, it was but okay. It, so it wasn't like bad. It wasn't it bad. Wasn't good. Yeah. Like it wasn't amazing. It wasn't terrible. It, was like, it just wasn't anything great either. It was it was very mediocre. So if you guys have ever been to Freddy's Frozen Custard and Steak Burgers, leave your comments down below. I want to hear your thoughts on their on their food. Want to know what you guys think of it? What is your go to meal here? at Freddy's, what kind of burger do you get or whatever? Do you get some burger with all kinds of crazy stuff on it? And yes, again, I know, had I gotten toppings on my burger, it would have tasted different, but we were here to try the hamburger, not the toppings. Yes. And I can I can say that just the burger alone is um, is somewhat mediocre. It's nothing all that, all that great. But anyway, what do you guys get when you come here to Freddy's? What is your go-to signature meal? And good? did Sean, <laughs> yeah, do, you, do you like it or not? And yeah. did Sean get a milkshake or did he get frozen custard? I have I think you got frozen custard. Probably. All right, guys, again, that is going to do it for Freddy's frozen custard and steak burgers here in Royersford, Pennsylvania. Mediocre. All right, so anyway, guys, with that, we are done. So as always, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon to help support the show and to keep the show going. So I really do appreciate that. And if you guys watch the video until the very end, what should today's hashtag be? That's not milkshake, that's frozen custard. <laughs> wow, that's a long one. All right, hashtag, that's not a milkshake, that's frozen custard. If you guys watch this video all the way until the very end. I will, I will say before we leave though, I do appreciate that their handicapped benches look like Millennium Falcons. Look at that, that is awesome. That is so cool. All right, guys, but that's gonna do it. So like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, have a good one, guys. Bye.